Okay, so hello, welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter six, which is a very simple problem. It's asking us to identify the zero force members in the truss that we have here. Let's get started with the problem then. So we can already say a lot about the external forces acting on this truss here. So we've got a fixed support at joint E and a roller support, uh, support at joint A. Uh, let's add uh, the forces to our diagram then. So we have these forces acting like this. Let's label them up as well. So we have F A comma X here. We have F E comma Y here and we have F E uh, comma X here. We note that F E comma Y by inspection is equal to three since it's countering this uh, three kilonewton force acting down on joint D here. And we can also note that F E comma X is equal to F, oops, F A comma X here. Cool. So let's just go ahead and add some internal forces to our diagram here. So we note at joint A uh, that AB must act to the left to counter uh, FA comma X here. And so we have AB acting like this on joint B. By inspection, AE or member AE is a zero force member since there would be nothing vertical to kind of counter it at, at joint A there. So we're saying A is a zero force member already. Uh, let's have a look at joint E. So we know that F E comma Y, which has a magnitude of three, is acting up. The only uh, thing acting down that could counter that would be the vertical component of B E here. So we have B E acting down and to the right and up and to the left at joint B. We could look at joint D as well. Uh, we, we, we note that BD is equal to three by inspection since it's countering this uh, three kilonewton external force here. Okay, we're in a nice place now. Um, I'm telling you that uh, DE, CD and BC are zero force members. Some of you may be cautious about this noting that, well, we don't know technically if we could have a force acting here, for example, or if we could have a force acting like this in BC, for example. The reason we know that we've kind of um, demonstrated the directionality of all our internal forces acting here uh, is because um, we noted earlier that F e comma x is equal to F a comma x. Um, we could kind of expand this considering all the things acting horizontally here. So um, we could say F E comma X is equal to the X component or the horizontal component of B E. So we could say F uh, E comma X is equal to uh, B, e, B E subscript X. And we then know that that uh, is then equal to A B, which is then equal to F a comma x. So we know that uh, horizontally and vertically uh, we have a consistent uh, series of, of, of forces acting here. So, so that's why we can say we know that uh, D, E, uh, C, D and B, C are all zero force members. Uh, just for completion, let's, let's label these all down. So we have uh, D, E, ah, D, E, A, E, uh, BC and uh, CD here. These are all our zero force members. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about this problem, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.